Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2019. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. October is about to end. Are you done with our monthly challenge? If not, here's a quick video on how I created the challenge. Curious to know how you did yours? Leave a comment below. Let me create a new design. I'm going to close this by hitting Ctrl W and selecting Don't Save. Let's create the top rectangle. So I'm going to hit R to enter directly into sketch mode so that R is the shortcut for rectangle. Let's sketch on our XY plane. And for this rectangle, let me change this under feature options to center rectangle. Let's drop its center point at the origin. I'm going to key in 40 by 40, making this a square. Hitting enter. And exit sketch mode, selecting finish sketch. Let's head to our construct tools and select offset plane. Let's offset our XY plane. Let's move this arrow to the right. For the distance, I'm going to key in negative 100. Selecting OK. Moving forward, let's create another sketch on our newly created plane. So hitting R and selecting this new plane, left click. Under Feature Options, let's change the option of Rectangle to Center Rectangle. Once more, let's drop our center point at the origin and the dimension of this square to be 100. Hitting Tab, 100. Hitting Enter. Selecting Finish Sketch. Next, let's grab our Loft tool. Take note, we are creating a body here as a reference. So hitting S on my keyboard to grab our design shortcuts, typing L-O, selecting this top loft. For the first profile, let's select this small square and for the next one to be this larger square. Let's leave the defaults and hit OK. Recall on our 2D drawing, the target thickness for our sheet metal to be 2 millimeters. With that in mind, I'm going to add fillets to these four edges. So hitting F, selecting this edges. And for its radius, I'm going to key in 4. Selecting OK. Next, let's create a surface body. So heading up, Selecting the Surface tab. And under Create, let's grab our Offset tool. Our intent here is to offset this face. And before making a selection, let's disable Chain Selection. So selecting this Faces. For its distance, I want you to key in 0 or the default and hit OK. And here's our newly created surface body. Let's now create the sketch for our sheet metal. But first, let's define the sheet metal's thickness. So heading to Sheet Metal, selecting Sheet Metal Rules. Once more, the thickness to be 2 millimeters. So let's grab steel, selecting new rule. And for the thickness, keying in 2. And for its description, I'm going to type October Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge. Selecting Save. So here's our new rule, selecting Close. Let's create a sketch on this face. So selecting 
the space, right click, selecting create sketch. I'm going to hit P for project and project the edges of this face. So left click, selecting OK. Let's turn off the visibility of our body reference. Selecting finish sketch. Adding to sheet metal, selecting flange, and selecting this profile. So zooming in, the body is protruding outward. So let's change its side to 2. And for our sheet metal rule, let's select our custom defined rule. So selecting October Fusion 360 monthly challenge, selecting OK. Here are the types of bodies. So this one is a solid surface and sheet metal. Our next intent is to split this surface body into two at the middle. So I'm going to grab our design shortcuts, hitting S on my keyboard, typing S, P, selecting split body. Now for the body to split, it will be our surface body. For the splitting tool, it will be our XZ plane. So let's head to our origin folder, selecting XZ, and hit OK. So notice we now have two surface bodies. Moving forward, let's add thickness to our two surface bodies. So hitting S once more for design shortcuts, typing TH, selecting Thicken for the faces, selecting our first surface body, keying in 2. So we have to go inward. So I'm going to retype negative 2. Operation U body and hit OK. Here's our thickened body. Let's repeat the process. So hitting S, typing TH, selecting thicken, selecting this top surface body, selecting OK. Let's add the 2 millimeter gap here in between. Let me select this first body, hit V to hide this, selecting this face, hit Q, which is offset face. I'm going to key in negative 1, selecting OK. Let's turn on the visibility of the other body and turn the other one off. Selecting this face, hit Q for offset faces, typing negative 1, selecting OK. Let's turn on the visibility of the other body. So we now have the gap here. To check, I'm going to hit I for measure, selecting this face and this face. So it's 2. Going to home view. Next, let's combine our sheet metal body with this body. So hitting S for design shortcuts, typing CO, selecting combine for the target body. Let's select our sheet metal body for the tool bodies, selecting this top body. Let's add this bottom body as well. Operation join and hit OK. So what remained here is our sheet metal body. So that's a cool trick for you. Next, let's create the detail here. Heading to flange, zooming in. Let's select this edge. And for the options, let's change this to symmetric. For the distance, I'm going to key in 5. For the height, 
15. And let's leave the defaults. Selecting OK. Let me turn on our construction plane. My next intent is to have this face and our construction plane parallel. With that in mind, we need to adjust the angle of this flange. But first, we need to determine the correct angle. So I'm going to hit I for measure. Let's select this face and our construction plane. Going to right view. So here, we need to move or adjust the angle of this flange via 180 degrees minus 163.3. I'm going to copy this to our clipboard. Selecting close. Let's move to our timeline. Double left click to edit edge flange 3. Moving to angle. With 90 in place, I'm going to type minus, open parentheses, 180, minus control V, which is from the measure tool that we copied, close parentheses, head to right view and looking nice, selecting OK. Let's repeat the procedure. So moving to this edge, selecting this, selecting flange, selecting symmetric for the distance, 5, hitting tab, height to be 15, angle, placing minus, open parentheses, 180 minus control V, Close parentheses, heading to bottom view, and hit OK. Next, let's add fillets. So hitting F, selecting this edge and this edge. So notice the distance between these two edges is 10. So to create a full fillet, I'm going to key in 5. Same with the other side, selecting this edge, holding control, holding control, selecting this, and hit OK. Let's create the hole here, and instead of creating a sketch and grabbing our extrude cut tool, I'm going to hit H, which is the shortcut for hole. So now we are asked for face or sketch points. Let's select this face. Now our intent is to position this hole here at the middle. So notice as I grab this dot, there's a dot appearing at our desired location so I can snap this here extends to be all diameter to be 3 and hit OK repeating the whole tool hitting H selecting the space Grabbing this blue dot and snapping this to this other whitish dot here. So inspecting extends to be all, diameter to be 3, and hit OK. Next, let's mirror this feature going here to the other side. Now that's the advantage of creating things symmetrical with our origin. With this, we can easily mirror this feature over here. 
Now, our target features to mirror is definitely this flange, this hole, so holding control, left click, and the fillets. So holding control once more, selecting this fillet. So three features selected, hitting S to grab our design shortcuts, typing MI, selecting mirror, so automatically it adjusted to pattern type features, activating mirror plane, and selecting our XZ plane. Left click, and selecting OK. Awesome. Let's grab this plane, right click, find in browser, and turn this off. Finally, let's create a flat pattern. So heading to create, selecting create flat pattern. For the stationary face, let's select this face. Left click, selecting OK. So here we have our flat pattern. So to go back, simply select finish flat pattern. So it was added here. I can turn this on or off for flat pattern. And that's how I modeled the Fusion 360 monthly challenge for October. This video is sponsored by MSI Workstations. Fusion 360 works smoothly with MSI Workstation. Join us in Facebook. See you in the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge.